So in this video, I'm going to give you my prediction of exactly what the announcement, the big announcement, is going to be on 8.8.24, and it's going to involve this right here, which is the Dojo chip. And um, this is um, Tesla's own design. It's kind of in a combination of the NVIDIA chip and the Apple M1 chip. It, this is a cooling facility that's being put in Texas uh, to cool these chips. By the way, these Tesla chips are more power efficient and cooling efficient than the NVIDIA state-of-the-art chips right now. Also, it's uh, Tesla IP, meaning they're getting them at cost without any markup. I want to go over this chart that was put up uh, in 23... I believe early in 23 and it talks about uh, Tesla's deployment of um, extremely large compute now um, you can see that this starts to the left and goes up and you know it hits the uh, the maximum over there <clears throat> at the right um, now we've got in the, in the center box, they talk about deploying Dojo, okay? Now, Musk has been cagey about what's going on here, how many Dojos. He said, Tesla hardware and other. AMD, what is it? NVIDIA? Well, this chart here is in NVIDIA. And by the way, that, that, that is scaled on uh, NVIDIA, I don't know, what is that, the N100 chip? And uh, just to, you can look at that chart yourself, and just to price that out, you can see that um, those graphics cards were $10,000 each. Uh, so that'll give you an idea of the amount of money uh, Tesla is spending on uh, reaching this compute goal. Now, interestingly enough, that's from 23. This N100 video card is out of production. Okay, there is no more uh, N100 uh, video, <laughs> video, NVIDIA card. So they've moved on to um, the thirty and $40,000 card. But now we get to the interesting part of this, is, which is a goal that uh, Tesla stated some time ago regarding their compute powder and power and how it's going to uh, work with this chart as far as timing goes. Okay, so uh, the Tesla's Dojo supercomputer is designed to have more than blah, blah, blah. And you can read this yourself. But this is talking about, especially about what the goal of the uh, Dojo uh, computer chip was. Uh, and it is to top the uh, world's top 500 supercomputers and i believe it's uh, uh, uh now in the past uh, elon musk has played down dojo he said well it may work out it may not work out i know that meet kevin the infamous meet kevin had a quote on it. he said well you know he's talking about dojo why are they wasting their time on that it might work out it might not work out you know what is this is hopium you know this is what I think is really going on with Dojo. Uh, and again, you know, Musk is not going to release exact information on what their corporate strategy is, nor, nor are we going to have perfect information. And people that uh, go by what's in the press only, I think they're making a mistake. You've got to follow these breadcrumbs, too. But So this is the goal of Dojo, was to, to beat the top five uh, computers and supercomputers in the world. And that's what Dojo was designed to do. Here is the large compute chart again okay and you can see deployment of dojo and then uh, you can see the top 500 or top five supercomputers in the world and then if you follow that graph over and you uh double that uh or uh look at the space between those two metrics, you're going to see 
that uh, just about on 8-8-2024, um, Tesla will reach the compute goal uh, uh, using these uh, Dojo chip deployments. And I think that uh, this is going to be uh, part of the announcement. I know that uh, Musk has said they're no longer uh, constrained by compute. But I do think uh, that they have reached this uh, goal of uh, a teraflop uh, in the compute stack, which is 2x the, uh, of the power of the combined top 500 supercomputers on the planet. And if you go back and look at this chart, that's exactly what's going to happen on 8.8.24. This 100 exaflops is going to be the announcement. Okay? Now... Um, that's the top 500 supercomputers on the planet? Ah, man, this is really a big deal. That is a lot of compute power. Um, so I think Tesla uh, has got uh, an ace up their sleeve, and that's what they're going to announce. Now, this is their careers page on AI and robotics, and I think you can find out a lot by looking at these career pages and so forth. And they, they talk about the chips and the chip development and the uh, software development, okay? And also um, kind of maintenance programming and interface programming and things of this nature. Now, what's, what's interesting is uh, when you go down this... AI career feature page, all of these provide, and you can pause through this and read these descriptions, and you will understand, read the highlighted sections, you will understand what Tesla is doing. It's a pretty, pretty concise uh, explanation. Uh, but the point is, you go through all these positions, and as Musk said, the new book is software, and I think Tesla is now three-quarters software. Um, but when you go through this uh, entire setup here, you'll see that um, there's only one uh, topic here that actually has a link to listed positions that they're really looking for, okay? Now, Musk had said the Tesla bot is going through its last, inter uh, inter you know, last iteration and this is the only topic, the Tesla bot, that they have positions actively linked to on that career page. So Musk has said, you know, we're going through the last, uh, you know, we got two of them working in. We're, do we're going through the last iteration on design. And uh, they're going to be coming out later this year, or I, I believe that was his... Uh, estimate and certainly by 2025 now the point is when you go through these help wanted ads there's a project manager i go god project manager because you know i have some experience recruiting in a project manager position is not something you expect to see on a project that's far along you know uh, the project managers would have all been in place way at the beginning uh, in the, for development and so forth. However, when you read this spec over, this is a project manager to develop customer support and uh, to flag problems and give feedback uh, to manufacturing on the Tesla robot. And this tells me that Tesla really is right down to the wire. They're planning customer interface for the robot. All right, this is MXUX. I hope you liked the video.